The giant kookapoo is one of New Zealand's most endangered native fish. It is part of the white bait family, which has the scientific name Galaxias. The larvae, or baby fish, take a migratory journey out to sea for 18 weeks after they are born, and then come back later to live in the same stream in which they were born. Most people catch these fish as juvenile white bait, but when they get older they grow into much bigger fish. Our galaxids are generally nocturnal and are very good at hiding. In this film, we will identify their main threats and show things that have been done to prevent their extinction. So we're off to go look for the giant cockapoo, so we'll see you when we get there. Bye! Hi there, nice to meet you, I'm Paul Franklin. Hi Paul, I'm Dion. Hi, I'm Isaac. Hi, nice to meet you. Today we're going to be doing some electric fishing which is a method that we use to try and survey for fish. Uh, basically it stuns the fish so that we can net them out. Um, obviously for you guys it's important that you don't do this because electricity in water is dangerous if it's not done by people who are trained to do it. But we'll get on with the survey now and hopefully we'll find you a giant cockapoo. just had some luck, we've just caught a giant cuckoo. Is that a baby one or is that a full grown one? That one would probably be about three, four years old probably. Alright. So, so the biggest they grow to is about 45 centimetres. So that's quite a big one when you get a really big one yeah. like that. Pick it up very gently, it's a very delicate fish. Bye bye beautiful fish. Later that evening, we went to Donny Park in Hamilton to go spotlighting to see if we could find any more giant kookapoo. We were lucky enough to catch a massive kookapoo. A giant good kookapoo. size giant kookapoo. The one that we've been looking for. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. I'll just leave him now because he might get a little bit scared again. Culverts are added to streams to help drain waterways. But these are usually above the waterline, which is a big problem for native fish, including the giant kookapoo, because they can't jump out of the water to get through the culvert and carry on their journey. Niwa has put in place a fish litter that helps the giant kookapoo get into other parts of the stream that would usually be too high up for the giant kookapoo to get into, and to help the native fish, including the giant kookapoo, to continue their journey to the sea and back again. We know that some of the main places kookapoo like to live are in deep pools with lots of forest coverage. However, the clearing of forest coverage for farmland has reduced the kookapoo's habitat. Also, it is a huge problem for whitebait and eggs dying because of the sun rays killing whitebait eggs and juvenile whitebait. But luckily, lots of Hamilton streams like Piranha Park stream provide this. Another threat to their survival is pollution because of effluent and fertilisers from farms getting into the rivers and streams around New Zealand. Effluent contains E. coli that are bugs that come from cow poos. One of the ways we can fix this problem is to fence off waterways from cattle and other animals. It is important to educate the white baiters to listen to the white baiting regulations and not catch too much. The white bait fishing season for most of New Zealand opens on the 15th of August and runs until November 30th and the limit for one day is one kilo per person and the maximum for a season is 10 kilos per person. Bruce and Ivan are nasty white baiters. They make sure that they don't catch mature white bait. So Bruce, how do you make sure you don't catch the mature white bait? Well, there's no real way with the type of nets we use. That's why we use the sieve system, where we put them in the sieve and then the little ones go through the sieve. We keep them and we put the mature ones back so they breed for us for the next year. White baiting is an enjoyable NZ tradition, so it is important that we keep our native fish safe so we can still carry on white baiting in the future. So, if we can do all these things to help the giant kookapoo, its population will keep growing until it's restored again.